Get out. Hello, tankers and tankettes. Another replay from me today, and this is the AMX 12T, and we're on uh, Ruinberg. And it's probably the only 12T replay you'll see of mine, because it's the only one I really saved. I did enjoy it, but there weren't that many battles where I thought they were, you know, good enough that I wanted to save the replay. Um, but, you know, I, I'm on the 1375 now, and it's not that different. Um, I'll, I'll probably... Well, you've already seen some 1375 videos, and you'll probably see some more. Because I'm, you know, like the 12T, I'm actually kind of enjoying that as well. So this is an 8.5 replay, uh, therefore I don't have all the mods working, it's just Jimbo's. Um, but yeah, this is just a standard battle. And I'm going to go up and support the 9-0 lines, because there's no RTs or anything to take care of. There's a single enemy scout, we've actually got three scouts, so we slightly got balked on that score. Um, they've got two heavies in place of two of our scouts. So there's that chaffy already. And I'm just, um, well you'll see this clump of bushes up ahead here, I'm just going to go and plonk myself there just to spot if anyone comes over. You you have to be really sneaky in this thing, it's a bit like the ELC, you have to be ultra sneaky. You can't barge in with the front lines because you're just going to die. So you have to look for opportunities to basically, times when you can break through places where you can sneak past the enemy or just support um, your own side basically. So there's a there's a couple of friendlies on the flank. There's a KV-1S here, there's also a Jag Panther 2 and a T-20 and the Jag Panther 2 is, is you know the biggest gun out of this lot here. Unfortunately there's a T-69 and that's kind of bad news. Um, yes he's got a wrong, long reload but um, well it's definitely bad news for me. He's another autoloader and he could seriously mess me up. The T20 just took a hit there. I don't want to press too far forward because I know the T69 is there. I don't know what else is behind him. Um, oh, there's a Chaffee. That's taken out that T20, so we're a tank down on this, this side already. Town is looking a bit dicey because they're being a bit pressed. We've actually got two of our... the T29 and the Tiger 2. Uh, um, going back, but one of their Tiger Twos, one of their top tiers, that guy there, Wehrmacht, basically sits at the back of the map the entire time. Now that's some seriously hardcore camping. He he um, is a bit wasted in a Tiger Two. So I'm going to be sneaky. I'm going to push up, get some shots on this T69. There we go. Bam. Now the pen on this isn't great, but it's enough for a T69. You're possibly going to bounce off parts of his front armor if you're doing it wrong, but um, yeah. Now I've got his attention, and this is risky because one shot from him uh, could be good night Vienna, and they know I'm here. I've got uh, four, that one didn't go through. two shots left that now, and uh, got his attention. That's gotta hurt. Uh, oh, hoo -hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, like this. And that T25 too, I think, took a shot at me as well. So. Chaffee does a drive-by. He doesn't stick around, which is probably wise given that there are friendlies around here as well. But he just runs straight past, probably in order to try and circle back and come um, behind us. But I, I, I've decided no, screw that. I'm, I go after him, and I take one shot from him, and there's that auto load of goodness. Bah. Goodbye, Chaffee or Chaffee. Possibly, I always, I, I, I don't know if I say that right, but anyway. There we go. The Jag Panther is still alive, which is very important. KV-1S is slightly facilitating, vacillating even. Wow. Um, <laughs> there's an IS in the middle there. That Tiger too is still camping at the back, which is good for our guys in town, but they're, you know, a bit surrounded. So I, I spot an opportunity here. Here's this IS. So let's see if I can't put something in his side while he's occupied elsewhere. But oh, turning to face me. Time for one more. That was a bit risky. And he fires, hits the wall. And uh, bam, he's gone. The KV1S got him. But while he was looking at me, that was a, a perfect time for the KV1S to pop out and shoot. So that's that's another way I like the Frenchies, is that, um, or any light tank in that situation, if you get a, a chance to shoot someone's flank and they turn their turret to look at you. Well, that means that your friendlies can um, pop out and um, pump a couple of shells into them. 
Right. Never discount that uh, distraction factor when you're driving a light tank. Sometimes it can be particularly important. So I'm pushing up here, I'm probably being a bit more cautious than I need to be. I know that Tiger 2 is still camping there somewhere. The Ag Panther 2 is in a good place where he can snipe anything I spot. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm down a bit on shells. This thing does not have a high shell count, so you have to manage your shots very carefully. I've got 18 shots left, 12 regular, and one clip of APCR. The Yag Panther 2 is getting a bit patient and wants me to move up, which is fair enough because I'm not going to spot anything that back there. Black Tiger 2 was just. Uh, yeah, hardcore camper. And he, you know, if he'd been more active, yes, he had a kill at this point, but he uh, was wasting uh, the potential of his tank quite severely. Uh, yeah, to, sitting back there in a fragile tank destroyer, okay, maybe, but a, a top tier heavy tank. Anyway, I've proximity spotted him. Like I say, he's been camping hardcore, so he's still full health. And I'm going to be a bit cheeky. I'm going to see if I can pop out. And now, yes, this is his rear armour, and I didn't really need the APCR here, but I didn't know if I was going to have to shoot. Uh, even the side of his turret could potentially bounce, but... Uh, whoa, back up. But, yeah. On the other hand, I would have been having to use those shells at some point anyway, because... The, yeah, it doesn't have a big ammo count, as I've said. So he's down. Um, the Yag Panther 2 and, and the T29 did a nice job. With 1312, it's pretty close to it now. I think um, they both imagined, the remaining two friendlies, that they would try and cap. Um, and I thought, well, yes, that's a strong possibility. So I'm pondering what to do, and then I decide, okay. I will sit in their cap and I will get ready to run away at the slightest uh, sign of danger because that's going to draw them back hopefully and buy us time because you know there's still eight minutes of this battle left and knowing where they are I mean if I draw them both back to their cap that's pretty that's a pretty good tactic because then we know where they are we've got that intelligence and oh ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho oh, ho there's one he's full health oh ouch okay Right, uh, I could try ducking. Oh no, wait, Tiger 2, okay. Banzai, go for it. Not even, no, you know, standing still at this point would have been death, so. Run the hell away. Down to my last clip of regular ammo. We know where they both are now. So I'm just getting out of there. And I'm going to go this way because I'm, I'm going the other way. Would have, you know, the T25 dash 2 uh, is. You know, it's not as fast as a Hellcat, but it's still fairly fast. And the 12T is reasonably mobile, but it's not, you know, if you're used to the ELC, this thing feels sluggish in comparison. But it's still 50 kilometers an hour, 55. It's pretty respectable. Um, so I'm, I'm basically circling the block here and hoping that our, um, you know, the, the T29 and the Air yeah, Panther 2 can. Uh, combined fire, take out the Tiger 2. Unfortunately, our T29 does not play it the smartest. Um, he had most of his health going into this. He then loses most of his health. Uh, I can see that T25 has been sneaky, so... I, I'm i feeling a bit, you know, the adrenaline's going here, so I am I should be aiming these shots more carefully, and I get lucky that none of them bounces. I know that it's not the most well-armoured target, but even so. So I really need to do something here. I'm feeling like if I can take out the T25 too, maybe the rest can take out the Tiger too. So I, whoa, yeah, he was waiting for me, but um, that was incredibly lucky. And I'm gonna see. Oh, he got the T29. Ah, uh, no, no, that's a stupid shot to try and take. Last two shells. They're both APCR, so I'm not gonna have to worry about penning anything. But yeah. Oh, now the Ag Panther 2 manages to damage the Tiger 2 just before he died. That's going to be incredibly important. That, you know, you know, if he hadn't, this would have been a loss. There's no way I could have done enough damage. Uh, oh, it's his front armour. Oh, last shell. Oh, good lord. Well, I could try and drag it out to a drawer, I suppose. Just drive round and round the building for, for the next uh, five and a half minutes, but that would be kind of an asshole thing to do. So, um, yeah. Oh, can I do it? Bam! There we go. Fade-ins medal. Last shell in the tank. 
last tank on the enemy team. Um, I don't have many fade-ins medals, but um, yeah, that, that was quite a nice way to get one. I got lucky with the matchmaking here, and I know you're thinking, yeah, 12 tier, it's tier 8, but actually that's just regular tier 6 matchmaking, and um, if you're not aware, the 12T does get scout matchmaking, and you can see, uh, I think, tier 10 tanks, or at the very least, you can see tier 9 tanks. Um, if it had been a tier 10 match, I probably would not have pulled that off. But as it was, that was there was a hell of a lot of luck involved in that. Um, and it just, just goes to show, even, uh, yeah, you, you really do have to be so sneaky and on your toes with... Um, Light tanks and especially light auto loaders because you have to manage your shots and be sure of hitting your targets so carefully. I mean, I fired all 30 shells, uh, 27 actually hit, uh, but only 23 penned. But I did uh, 2300 damage, uh, 2300 plus damage. Uh, that's pretty decent for one of these things, and most of it was in the kind of the latter part of the match. But yeah, it, it's th this. This was undoubtedly the best game I had in the 12T, and probably the most fun game. But like I said, I still enjoyed it. Otherwise, um, I I saw the gun and I was expecting to hate it. But actually, no, it, it's a fun tank, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I got a, a decent amount of XP out of that as well because it it happened to be my daily double. So, if you enjoyed this, um, you can hit the like button, you can leave a comment, and of course, as always, stay tuned for more.